Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Okay everybody, so a little bit of a snag here. Um, this was unexpected. Got here to Duck Lake. Uh, this is the only road in, we'll show you the road here in a second. This is the only road in to Duck Lake where you can launch your kayaks that we're uh, aware of. And when we checked the website, it did say be aware of seasonal road closures, but there was no notice. But we got here today and it just so happens that this road is closed from August 15th to October 15th. Um, it's August 16th, so the road closed yesterday, uh, which means we can't get through because they've locked the gate and we can no longer get into Duck Lake. So uh, why? I talked to the local fishing shop here in Creston and it's because of northern leopard frogs. The northern leopard frogs migrate across this road, across the dike, and they're a protected species. And so they do not allow any motorized vehicles into this area for those two months that the northern leopard frogs are hopping across the road. So. I'm not sure what's going to happen now in terms of bass fishing. So what we're going to do next is go see if we can find another place to fish for the day. Uh, and then we'll see if we can find another place into this lake. <laughs> I'm not too sure. So, as we said previously, the road south was closed. And uh, our understanding was that was the only way into Duck Lake. But I uh, went into Creston into the local fishing store to see if I could get some intel on whether or not there was another place that you could get down to Duck Lake. Always good to check with the locals. And lo and behold, we were told that there is a short path that you can take down to the lake from a place called Sirdar. So that's where we are right now. This is the path. Uh, it is not very long. It's about, uh, 100 meters or uh, close to uh, 100 yards, basically the length of a football field. <laughs> and uh, the slope isn't too bad. So we're just carting the kayaks down now. Um, we're almost to the lake actually. And then we're, we're gonna get out and give bass fishing a try. It's about, I would say 8.30 in the morning. So probably a little later than some people go out bass fishing, but the water is calm as you can see. And let's get out on the water. Okay, everybody. So we are out on Duck Lake. Um, we've explored a little bit and uh, I can tell you this is a relatively shallow lake. Um, I'm currently, even though my fish finder says one meter, I'm actually currently sitting in about uh, one and a half to two meters of water or close to five to six feet. Um, there's a weed growth all over this lake, which I guess is good for the bass. Um, and we just started throwing Kieran's over there. He's uh, started out tossing a frog was his random draw. So I'm using the Whopper Plopper and the bait caster. I did make a couple of casts already um, just to see if I could use it. Seems to be okay so far. So no bird's nest, which is a good thing. <laughs> so it seems to be working okay. There's my uh, surface Whopper Plopper in the distance there. Uh, we're going to keep trying this for a while. See if we can pick anything up. This could be a bust. We've been out here now for two hours. Nothing. Tried a variety of different baits. Um, weed growth in this lake is really, really high. Um, 
and there isn't many open spots and there isn't a lot of structure so trying to find an area where you've got something different is very very challenging um, we've paddled out into the middle we've paddled around the edges here and it's roughly the same depth with very little variation and the weed growth almost consistently is to the top as you can see um, or uh, up to a foot above the sur uh, just below the surface so um, it's really hard to bounce anything off the bottom the weed growth is thick 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 um, so you're pretty much stuck right now at this time of year with top water or uh, something that's just below the surface I have tried the whopper plopper um, Kieran's tried the popper We've tried some shallow diving crankbaits tried um, Texas rigging one of beard zeros worms and uh, it's pretty challenging so I don't know if we're missing a spot of this lake there that's a little bit different but it looks very very similar to me so uh, this is a tough go not gonna lie all right you guys so we just stopped here for a break at lunchtime and uh, decided to do some shore fishing because uh, the wind calmed down and we wanted a break from the kayaks and uh, found a little spot here thought we'd give it a try and there we go got a perch so at least we know there's some fish in here <laughs> there you go guys there's another one all right you guys there's another perch but uh also wanted to show this off uh we weren't planning on doing much bobber fishing today so uh we only had one bobber kieran's currently using it it's the budweiser bobber so i improvised and i tied a topwater frog onto my line as a bobber and uh seems to be working good so sometimes you just got to use a little bit of ingenuity <laughs> that took a while <laughs> yeah i'd say <laughs> were you getting a little frustrated <laughs> a little <bit. laughs> don't throw that one out yet the point is you got it mm -hmm. you got it good he wasn't getting away. All right, so you got oh a perch. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, there's Kieran trying his last few casts. I think he's got either the popper or the frog on. Um, no bass. Some perch, um, including some perch out here in the lake but no bass, not even a hit. Um, I don't know, it's probably partly our technique and partly time of the year, um, since we don't really know what we're doing. But uh, conditions are definitely challenging out here. And for all of you who follow us, who regularly fish for bass in very thick weeds like this. I got a very new appreciation for everything you guys do. So, um, I'm just paddling back in here to our launch point. Um, even though we didn't catch one, we are still gonna do the giveaway for an angling spider's lure for all of you that guessed. And uh, appreciate all the confidence that you guys had in saying we were gonna get one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually thought between the two of us we'd get at least one, so um, that is a little bit frustrating to say the least, particularly given how hard it was to get in here after all of the trying. We'll see all of you back home. All right, everybody. So we are back from our trip, and as you saw, it was not the most successful bass fishing trip. Uh, some challenges. The first day out there, it was really, really smoky. Uh, so much so that we had to wear masks outside. 
Uh, then you guys saw that we went to go onto the road to get onto Duck Lake and the road was closed because of the frogs. And so we tried another location. We went dock fishing on Kootenai Lake, which actually ended up being fantastic. That was featured in our last video. Uh, caught a new species, I caught a pumpkin seed, and, and uh, of course we caught a ton of perch. I think the most fish we've caught in a very long time. So that was a good day of fishing anyway, and, and fun to be out on the dock. Um, but it was also a family vacation. It wasn't just a fishing trip. And so a couple of days following that, we did some family things. The next day we went hiking. The day after that was a really nice day and we spent a day on the beach. So after all of that, we only had one day of fishing left. And what I did was I went into town and I went to the local fishing shop and I asked the gentleman there if there was another way into Duck Lake. And he actually said, yes, there's a pathway that you can get down, which you guys saw us taking down to the lake. Uh, the challenge with that is we were on our last day. We only had about three to four hours to go fishing uh, because we had a pickup time. And so uh, it wasn't the best timing to get out there, but we decided we still wanted to give it a try because we had gone all that way. So we did get out there, uh, tossed a lot of lures, mostly surface lures, a few um, Texas rigs, but uh, just couldn't pick up any bites other than the perch that you guys saw in the video. So. Uh, we gave it a shot. What I can say is that on the way in, I did run into another local at the edge of the lake and she told me that uh, at Duck Lake at this time of the year, they're really only biting in the evening. And unfortunately, we couldn't get out there that evening, and, but it was some good intel. And so it's something good to know for next time if we ever are there at this time of year. One other thing that happened though is some of our subscribers who either live in British Columbia or know British Columbia also reached out to us and told us about a couple of other bass lakes uh, that are actually closer to us in terms of driving distance, about half the distance. So we may try those out next year as well. So our bass fishing journey is not over. We're going to keep trying this. At some point we'll get back out there and at some point we'll catch a bass. Uh, but that's it for at least for the journey for bass fishing this year. Right now we're going to return to what we know best, which is fishing in Alberta and uh, typically targeting pike. And I'm looking forward to getting back out there hopefully soon. Okay, before I close it out, there's one more thing. So we did go back and many of you were uh, guessing that we would catch a bass and many of you uh, were nice enough to say that we would catch a bass. And we also asked you guys to guess what we would catch it on. Um, and we said that we would give away an angling spider's lure for all of you that wanted in that contest. So we went back to that video and got everybody's name and uh, we wanna honor that even though we didn't catch a bass, we wanna, we wanna give away one of those angling spider's lures. So if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen them, uh, we put our logo on a custom Len Thompson spoon and we regularly give these away. And I'm happy to uh, be able to give another one of these away today. So. Um, I've put the names of the people who wanted in the draw in a hat. Kieran is the keeper of the trusty dusty hat. Uh, he's not here right now. And so instead I'm using my old angling spiders cap here. This is my very first one that I had that's faded and <laughs> in pretty bad shape. I've put your names in here and uh, I'm going to pull one of these out right now. And one of you is going to win one of those lures. Let me not look at it. Nothing in my hand. All right, I have a winner. The winner of an angling spider's lure is somebody who's been following us for quite some time, the Funkin CT. Congratulations to you. Uh, if you can get a hold of us at anglingspiders at gmail.com, we will get one of these uh, custom Len Thompsons sent out to you as soon as you get in contact with us. So congratulations. All right, uh, one last thing on the giveaways. I know that many of you have been trying to get your hands on one of these for a very long time. Some of you since we started the channel, there will be lots of opportunities for more giveaways. Uh, just to give you an example, we've got lots of these uh, custom Len Thompson still. Um, we love giving these things away, so there will be many more chances to win these if you guys keep watching. Um, and we really appreciate all of you that have kept watching and keep commenting, trying to get one of these things. So. We're basically back to Alberta fishing. We appreciate you guys joining us on that little side journey. Um, looking forward to getting back out there. And hey, if you liked the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, good fishing.